Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Welcome to Shaping Memories. Today we're doing an activity called Lesser Known Animals. Yes. The last time we did an activity, it was called Weirdest Animals. The Weirdest Animals, yes. And these she, are had some, she had some crazy looking animals. These are pretty weird too, and that's why they're called Lesser Known. Because okay. they're pretty weird and they don't put them out there, but it's interesting to see what kind of animals we actually have that we don't know about. That's cool. I'm excited. <laughs> because we all know the lion, the zebra. We all know those animals. So let's see these lesser known animals. Okay. So Cynthia's done the research. Let's, let's see. see what she found. So we're going to start with this one. Okay. It's just so cute. It's cute? I don't know. It's just cute. All right. We're going to start with this one. She this said. one's called a pika. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's P-I-K-A. Ili pika oh. is a small mammal only seven to eight inches long that's okay. native to the Taishan, Taishan Mountains range of the remote region of China. So it's from China. Oh my God, I would put that in my pocket. <laughs> Look at that, I would carry that around in my house. Okay, living right here. Living on a sloping bare rock, faces and feeding on grass, grasses at high elevations. This little creature is very rare. There are less than a thousand left. Oh so my God! In a thousand left. We should so. start. Everyone should have one. It's it, called it a pika. It kind of looks like a, a a little dog, right? Yeah, like a little teacup dog. Yeah, it's but, called a pika. P i k a. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's looks like a little dog rabbit mm -hmm. combo, and bear. They little bear ears. Okay, ready okay. for the next one? Oh my God, yes. I hope they're all cute like that. This one's called a pan pangolin. Pangolin? I think that's how you pronounce it. Pangolin. This, oh, sorry. I'm going in the wrong way. Wrong way. I should go this way. I just don't want you to see them, Paige. Okay. Let's see. Here you go. <laughs> oh. That. So oh. this one, found in Asia and Africa in forests and grasslands. Oh. Pangolins are solitary nocturnal creatures with scales covering their bodies and long sticky tongues to slurp up ants and termites. They are about the size of a house, a house cat. Oh, I'm not a house. A house, a house cat. <laughs> a little bit like artichokes on legs. They do look like an artichoke, right? Yeah. It does when look frightened, like that. they defend themselves by rolling up into a little ball. Oh, how cute! Like an armadillo. Yeah. But that's what is it called again? Pang pangolin. Pangolin. P -A -N -G -O -L -I -N. That's really cute. G O L I N. But you know, looking at this picture, you can see the scales and everything, but it looks like they're almost soft mm -hmm. like like but I, I wonder if they're soft or hard but it looks like i don't know they're probably hard because it, it protects them when yeah, they roll that's true it's really cute no, it's cute size of a house cat mm -hmm. huh? you said size of a house i'm like what a house okay. <laughs> now this one's pretty interesting this one's called a tough deer a tough deer's oh adaption is vampire like fame yes, so it has, it has fangs. teeth like like well fangs. It yeah. has fangs because they are used to for fighting in mating season. Historically, the species is known to live in high damp forests in China, northern India, and Burma, next to the water and tree lines. The tough deer is rarely seen and is most active during morning and night. Oh wow! It's a vampire deer. It's like deer. a little tooth hanging off the side. A vampire deer. Oh my god. That's interesting. Cool. I know it looks like a little deer, and it's like, no, but I got fangs. <laughs> you watch out. I'm take you out. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, here's the next one. That's cool. I never knew about that deer. Have you ever, nope. I called the vampire. No, nah, I did not know about that this one. This looks like a rabbit dog. Okay, this a one's huge called rabbit dog. a Patagonian Mara. The Patagonian mm -hmm. Mara is basically a very large rodent. Imagine seeing one of these scurrying over the subway tracks in Manhattan. Oh, heck no. <laughs> no someone's dog is loose. <laughs> so that's an image oh, that wow. probably makes your skin crawl, but give them some love because they are very family-oriented creatures as they stay monogamous for life. What? So, like, they're people, very faithful. Oh, very okay. faithful look, creatures. Look, it has, like, it has, like, rabbit, like, doesn't even look like a rabbit. It's like legs. a rabbit and a dog. Dog it's, mixed together. It's so weird. But, um... When you said they're very family oriented, I thought you were going to tell me people make them as pets. No, no, no. 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 They're they're mono monogamous. They're family with oriented their, with their, their group. I was like, oh my god, people have this as a pet. But okay, now this one might scare you a little bit, Paige. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it a spider? No, you know no, I don't no. do well with spiders at all. But okay, I think 
Oh God. This one's called an I I or something like A no or A. Oh wow. That looks like a creature. Like like a I I Yeah, I I I I so it says I I Captain oh my these God. nocturnal lemurs have a very unusual build with large ears and rat like teeth. The I I is the only primate who uses um rat like teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Echolocation, the process of locating something by producing sound and then listening to the sounds reflected back. Other animals you may be familiar with that use uh, echolocation are bats, bats and whales. Yeah, bats and whales, yeah. So they go by the echo. Well, he, this thing is like, has no fur. No. Like, like it has some fur. It has fur, little hair like, sticking out. Yeah, it looks, but I, I, maybe because of its eyes. I mean, his eyes really stand out. I, 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 Captain. Oh my God. That's so cute. <laughs> Cute. It looks like like a Harry Potter give creature. Him, give him some love. Doesn't it look like a Harry Potter <laughs> yes, creature? It does. Like it should be in that movie. Okay, here's, like here's a golems. Golems. I think this one is pretty cool. All right, pretty cool. I think so. I wanted to make this one last, but next is next. It's next. Okay. This one's called a Mary River Turtle. <laughs> A Mary River turtle? Okay, the Mary River turtle is only found in the Mary River of Southeast Queensland, Australia. Despite oh, wow. the fact that it's one of Australia's largest freshwater turtles, it only received official scientific recognition in the 90s. Oh, wow. That would be really new. cool if they did have green hair. Sadly, however, what's often the marker of the green-haired turtle is not actually hair. Oh. Sprouts of green algae grow over its head and shell, creating their adorable punk rock look. Yes. The growing algae collects on the shell and forms a disguise which helps them conceal from predators. Oh, Isn't so that that's not, yeah, so he's not, that's not his, no, he doesn't have no it hair. It just has algae growing on it. Oh, that's so cool. I think it's pretty cute. I like turtles. They're cool. <laughs> Well, you have a turtle. But look, it has, yeah, I do. It even has like little, like, has like, little like, things, huh? Yeah, like little things coming down there. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Okay. Here's another one. It's pretty cute, too. This one's called a hummingbird hawk moth. A hummingbird hawk moth? Yeah. Oh, as you oh. Can see, look. Isn't that kind of interesting? Oh, my God. It's like all those things together. There is a hummingbird that kind of has yeah. hawk like so it's, it's as, as large as a hummingbird and prominent reddish wings you can see the hummingbird hawk moth in scotland wales ireland and england where it's often found feeding in gardens and woodlands I know, it, it, it there was it does look like a moth by the the um yeah it's like its little body and then it has like yeah it would be like you took all three of those together. It's made so a weird little, one, like, little hummingbird hawk moth, hawk moth, hawk moth. Hawk moth. <laughs> Did you see the hummingbird hawk moth? <laughs> okay, yeah, here's cool. here's the next one. Let's see. This was. I'm hoping you could see the picture because it's kind of it looks uh like camouflage. But this one's called a lowland streak tenric. Oh wow. It says, Tenrex can fit in the palm of your hand mm -hmm. and with their orange and black coloring resembles a bumblebee. Ew. They have quills, cute little snouts built for foraging insects and plants. There are two distinct types in t of Tenrex, each of which is found in different Madagascar climate zones. Oh. See, it has these little green, if I see on your picture, these little, that's, that's part of his snout. Yeah, this little, little green little thing. Snout. That makes it go into the grass, like like how she's saying, like it's little flash. I'm like a little bit. It's in the palm of your hand. Oh wow, this one. one. Cool. So we have two left. All right. And then the next one's really cute. This one. This one's called the pink fairy armadillo. Pink. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh my god, he's so cute. He's got like a little shell. Yeah. So you can tell why it's uh, called yeah, the pink because it's pink little shell. So it says, you can find the pink fairy armadillo in central Argentina. Its range encompasses desert, sands, dunes, and miles of scrub brush in grasslands. Oh my God, it's so cute. So I it's not like we'd ever be in those places, no, unless you're a traveler, and then you're right. going to see them. But that's why we don't see them. 
I know every single though. If you went to this place, you'd be like, oh, that's the pink, what'd you call it again? That's the pink armadillo. Pink, pink fairy armadillo. Pink fairy armadillo. Pink fairy armadillo. Uh, and this one is the this last, is our last one. one. This one's called a narwhal. Oh, oh, oh this, these are, oh my God. I have a story it's about N narwhals. N-A-R-W-A-L. Narwhal, it's called mm -hmm. a narwhal, yeah. Oh, the mythical looking narwhal. This is the closest creature so far that has similar features to the beloved unicorn. Mm -hmm. These creatures can live up to 50 years with their main cause of death being suffocation. Aww. Due to being trapped by sea ice, like their other whale Aww. counterparts, they are quite large, ranging from 13 to 18 feet, excluding oh the tusk. Okay, I have a story about this real quick about uh -huh. the narwhal. This one right here. So my daughter, in elementary school, came home and told me about that there's narwhal. Like, she, yeah. she drew a picture of it, and I said, oh, that's a cute little creature you drew. She's like, mom, it's real. We had an argument for two or three days. Yeah. Because I told her, it doesn't not, exist. That doesn't exist. <laughs> that's not a real creature. That's a magical creature, a normal. Mm -hmm. So when you just pulled that out, I'm like, okay, so it really does exist? It does like, exist. she and I have gone round and round if these actually exist when she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. And then I asked somebody, and they're like, no, they do. And I'm like, I don't believe it. And now you have a picture. There you go. <laughs> this is cool. But what, like, where's their eyes? Where's they look so cool? Mm -hmm. I want to see. But could you imagine seeing that come out of the ice? That big long tusk. Well, I don't think is it'd be tusk? anywhere around the ice. <laughs> no, but is that what's the tusk? Is uh -huh. the unicorn? It's a, like a unicorn. Mm -hmm. But like, it's like a tusk. Like it punch. I wonder if they use that to punch through the eyes. Or I, I think they do. Wow. But it's like so it weird said that right that's there, one of the last ones that you gave because I was like, yeah. I, well, like it says on the in in the. What I just read, it said that the only way that, like, they die is, is they, they suffocate because they that. can't get out. Oh, my God, I didn't even notice. If you look here on this picture, here they are right here, these narwhals. But there's a whole group of them back there in the picture. I, mean, you can I see didn't them. see them. And they're, like, you can swimming see through. Unicorns. They're going through, yeah. They're just swimming through the ice. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. This is cool, Cynthia. Aw. Okay, everyone. I Here's hope that you enjoyed this activity. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.